All right, y'all. So today we're going to create a banner, right? So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead over here to officedepot.com and we're going to go to services and we're going to go to printing. Okay. So we're going to go over here to large format printing and we're going to say yard signs, right? Because we're just going to design the sign. Now this tutorial is great for anyone because you don't need any special equipment, right? We're going to let, I mean, Office Depot, UPS, FedEx, or whoever it is, do all the work, right? So what we're going to do is just look at the dimensions. So their yard signs can go 18 by 24 or 24 by 36. So these are the measurements that we're going to use, okay? So now we're just going to go ahead over here and head into Canva. And let's just go over here to create a design down to custom size and let's enter 24 by 36. And hit create a new design. Now me personally, I like to design in landscapes. So I'm going to go over here to resize and I'm going to do 36 by 24 and hit resize okay so now that we have that uh, let's just go ahead and jump into our design okay first thing we're going to do is go over here to our uploads and let's just go ahead and upload the image that we'll be using today okay so I have my image and what we can do, so I have my image. So what we can do is, um, so I, of course I want to take this from white. So what you can do is one or two things, right? So if you click on an image that you've uploaded into Canva, one of the things that I like is that you can right click it and you can apply colors to the page, right? So it's going to pull every color from this picture and I can just keep on um, right clicking and hitting apply colors to page to until I get the color that I would like right so I want the color of that jacket and we have this one and they also give me this option so I'm just going to go back and let me do the lighter one but then so we can also do this we can click the background go up here to this little box right here and right here in photo colors it's the pulled all the colors from the photo as well so i want this one and you can just change it like that so um just a couple ways to get a color like the color match um from a photo a little canva hack for you and i am using canva pro so if you don't have canva pro you can try it free for 30 days uh with the affiliate link in my description box that i'll be leaving for you guys okay so next thing we're going to do is go ahead over here to elements and let's grab a frame because I mean, I don't necessarily want this just like rectangle box, you know, so let's just go over here um, and hit frames and let's grab a shape. There we go. This is what I like. What is this called? This is geometric. Okay. Whatever. Looks like a semicircle to me. All right, so we're going to go ahead and grab that and let's stretch it, put her in the frame, double click so we can adjust it a little bit. That looks great. You can actually just maybe make this a little bit bigger. All right, bam, boom, bow. That looks great. So we're going to go, let's stay in our elements and let's type in graduation. And I'm going to go over here to gra graphics under the graphics tab. And I just want to kind of find, oh, I do like, I didn't, I do like these numbers they have. Okay. Let's see if we can see the whole collection. So if you ever find something like how we found these numbers in the elements and um, obviously, you know, they're kind of all scattered around. Um, so what you can do is click, like hover over what it is and click these three dots right here. And, uh, it'll show you all the keywords you can use. And then it also says you can see more like this, or you can view collection. Let's hit view collection and see what we get. Yes. Yeah, so we got all the numbers right here and let's, uh, highlight this and lock it. 
so it doesn't move. So now I can just go ahead and select all these numbers, hit position, tidy up. This will make them, you know, align them evenly and space them, make it look a whole lot better than what I did. And we're going to, so what we're going to do is just go ahead and take all that and group them. And I'm just going to size it down. So we'll just delete that and go back over here to elements and hit graduation. So I like this. Um, okay, so this one isn't really working for me. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete that and let's just find something different. Okay, so I like this. So we're going to take this and just stretch it all the way over the page position backward move it all the way to the back so it's behind everything and we're just going to take the transparency down to like mm, yeah 10 is cool all right awesome so we're just going to go ahead and lock it because of course we have our layers on top of it so now let's go ahead and add some text so we're just going to go over to our left toolbar and hit text I like, you know, Canva has some preset font combinations that you can just use and edit. So I'm just going to go ahead and use this Hello Darling and change Hello, of course, to uh, Brittany Smith. Now, this is my best friend who graduated and her name is not Brittany Smith, but you know, we're not about to put her <laughs> business all over the internet like that. So we're just going to say Brittany Smith for the sake of this video. So let me go ahead and ungroup that. I don't want the darling. Now, there's like this super big gap right here between Brittany and Smith, right? So let's make sure it's highlighted. Go up here to your top toolbar. And let's just adjust the line spacing a little bit, okay? So that looks way better. And let's change this to black. Say Brittany Smith class of... Actually, I want the name to be in white because I want that to stand out. Okay, awesome. Then we have that class of 2022 and I'm going to use my favorite font, which is like the Brittany font. It's just like a super cute script font. And I'm going to say congratulations. Make that super big. Awesome. Okay. So we have our congratulations. Let's go to effects and just add maybe a shadow to this, like a white shadow, just to bring it out a little bit. Um, that looks good, but we can also just opt to lift it. Let's just do a lift. Yeah, that just brings it out a little bit. And if we wanted to, we could take these grad caps and maybe make smaller sections just several times so I'll just make it a little bit smaller and let's duplicate duplicate again bring it to the bottom uh, position that to the back make sure it's all the way in the back behind everything duplicate again and let's get this little corner right here Okay, yes, yeah, so I, I, I like that a little bit better than what we had before. So, and let's just go ahead and change these numbers. So we're going to do white and I could just go ahead and uh, change all. So it changed everything from white to black, including little, little, little uh, graduation caps, but I'm not even mad at that. I like that like that. And let's change this gold to, let me see, this darker pink right there awesome so yeah that looks good that looks real good um so you know of course you can do more you can do less you know whatever you and your graduate you know your graduate your client whatever you know the occasion this is for whatever y'all discuss but we're just gonna leave it like this for now right so now we're just gonna download this and you want to save this as a png to your computer so we'll just go ahead and download and once it's downloaded, we'll go ahead over here back to the Office Depot site, go to their printing services and hit yard signs. I mean, you could do yard signs, banner, poster, you know, whatever it is that you wanted to make this for, of course. 
and we're going to go ahead and hit customize. Uh, we did 36 by 24, so we're going to go ahead and hit continue, get started, upload the picture right there. There we go. I was like, what happened? And y'all, that looks so good. And that was like so easy to make. And right here, it just says it's like $40.49. So, I mean, it's pretty affordable, but that, you know, that's just the back or whatever you could do. I mean, the front, you can do front and back. I'm pretty sure that's more, but you know, um, I just want to show you guys the gist of this. So, uh, we could just go ahead and hit review. And it comes with a stand, so that's that's even better. You know, go ahead and get it and stick it right in the yard. So then you get this little print preview, right? And what I would do if I was offering this to a customer, I would go ahead and save this image, right? Uh, save it and send this as a mock-up to your customer. And that's it, you guys. That is how you can design your own yard sign using Canva and printing at Office Depot, UPS, or anywhere, you know, that you want to go ahead and get this sign printed at. This is a great way to celebrate your grad or even something extra you can offer your customers besides a graduation stole, um, the customized graduation hats, and a, a few other things that we've designed on this channel. I'll leave that playlist for you guys over here. And if you want to play around in Canva some more, you can also check out some videos in the Canva playlist right here. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you later.